Hey guys, Mike here with Gear Testathon, where we take and test gear to the extreme. Today, we're reviewing coolers. We've got the Pelican versus the Yeti. Let's get right into it. Start off with the ice test. Let's do this. We heard these coolers kept ice for weeks at a time. This we had to see for ourselves. After filling them up with four bags of ice each, we open the coolers an average of 4.5 times a day for 15 seconds. Okay, it's been eight days. Let's see where we're at. With the Yeti. Still have ice. The Pelican. Ooh. No ice at all. Now one thing I noticed when I got these is online it says the Pelican 35 quart and the Yeti Tundra 35. So I thought that meant that both of these were 35 quarts. However, that's not the, that's not the case. <laughs> this is a little bit smaller than the Pelican. So that could have contributed to some of the uh, faster ice melt with the Pelican than the Yeti. The Yeti's ice lasted one more day after opening it six more times. Keep in mind this was filmed in the middle of summer with an average high of 88 degrees in upstate New York. Now, it's important for your gear to be easy to clean. Cool feature about the Pelican, they have a drainage cap where if you unscrew it, you can hook a hose right up to it. Wear it with the Yeti. It does have a drainage, but you just unscrew it, and that's it. Pretty cool. Well, guys, it's time for the fire test. Oh. That was pretty fun. Let's take a look at them, see what the damage is. After burning about five minutes, the gas wore off, and this is what they look like. The Pelican had the most damage as the gas must have collected at the bottom corner and melted it. While the Yeti saw similar damage, most of it was on the handle. Safe bet not to leave these close by a fire, as if I needed to mention it. <sighs> Now, what would happen if you're going on a camping trip, you have your coolers on the trailer, you hit a bump, and they fall off? That's a great question, Mike. Let's find out. We loaded up our coolers with the bare essentials that every camper takes with them. Mmm, -hmm. love me some orange crush. Once full, we made sure they were shut tight. Pelican snaps shut, while the Yeti does this. We wanted to make sure we even the playing field, so we left off the padlock that you can use only on the Pelican, if you're one of those freaks that likes to lock their coolers. So Bray, give us a recap. Anything happen? You can see some skid marks and some like divots from when it went flying down the road. And everything stayed in here and nothing flew out, so nice. Looks good. Okay, what about the Yeti? I think this one has probably the most damage. You can see skid marks and a lot of skid marks in the top of it, in the sides, even in the middle but everything still stayed in and is in good shape on the inside. Delightful. So delightful. One more time.
Rock on, Bree. Rock on. To be honest, really not much different than the first go around. Now I was hoping both would pop open and shower us with ice and pop can shrapnel. But, no, that just wasn't the case. Now both of these coolers are rated to be bear proof. But since we don't have a bear, Roar! we got the next best thing. Well, that was fun, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're uh, not shotgun proof, so. No, not a chance. <laughs> you know, we basically uh, punched holes in both of them with the Pelican and the Yeti. So, uh, that was kind of fun though, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm glad you did it. I need a drink. What? So do I. Now, if you're still undecided which one you like, the Pelican has one more feature that the Yeti doesn't. You have measurements on the top of here from 0 to 18 inches or in centimeters from 0 to 46. Pretty cool. Super cool. Now, the question is, which one would I choose, Pelican or Yeti? And honestly, I think I got to choose the Yeti. I just like it better. Even though it's a lot more money than the Pelican, uh, the Yetis are going for uh, $390 on Amazon, where the Pelican is $230. What about you? I'm gonna have to say the Pelican. I like it because of the measuring on it. So if I want to go fishing and I need to fish over a foot long and I want to check it, I'll have to do a slap it on there and it'll tell me right away how many inches it is. Delightful. Now, if you do want to pick these up, I pasted the links in the comments below. So I'll take you right over to Amazon. They're both on there uh, for a good hefty price. Also, check out my other videos. Got a lot of cool videos online, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. You've heard her. We'll see you next time.